Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCGB desk, we come with a new video. This video is very important because it is a software by very big company of networking. We are talking about D-Link. So today we are going to discuss about D-Link Smart plus CCTV for PC. In this video, we will describe what is D-Link Smart plus CCTV for PC and what is function and feature, what is some advantages and advantages and finally we move to our practical part means how you do, how you down how you download the software and how how you scroll them and finally how you configure them to make a camera live so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so what is dealing smart plus easy for pc this application is designed by dealing the company started in 1986 in taiwan since then it has covered a long journey. There is no need to discuss about network equipment designed by Daily. Now the company has expanded to more than 60 countries with daily networking and connectivity products. This app is very smart and accurate for monitoring purposes. It can sense many activities and make decisions accordingly. It can listen to a person on the device side and allow you to speak. It gives you a real-time view and so on. Here are the some advantages or some feature of dealing this app gives you a real time view there is no time lag it means that whenever an activity taking place simultaneously it is being relayed by the software it automatically controls the bandwidth and the frame rate of the camera this app uses advanced network connectivity when the network is slow the data adjusts to the normal and the continuity of the video does not hamper this software allows us to operate the device from a remote locations software allows all the PDZ functions and two-way communication also so this is our practical part now let's start our we switch our video to the practical parts that how you download the software the first thing you should do just open on any browser in my case I use Google Chrome and here you would search for Google for dealing smart plus easy for Windows when you open here you find a dealing website and a, another website so just i just briefly i prefer this website just open this website and here you should scroll down a little and try to find the download option here you found the download option just click on this And now click on the download Now just click on three dot button and try to go to, to our download page. Here is my download page. This is our downloaded file. Just click on show in folder. When you click on show in folder, just right click on the downloaded file and try to extract. Just click on extract. When you click on extract, you find the folder name with same as file name as you download. Just open the folder. Here you find your application file or installer file or .exe file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator and click on yes click on next click on next again click on next and wait for a few minutes once it is done, it is completed, you get a successful notification. 
click on finish. When you here open the go to your desktop and try to open this software by double click or open after that it asks for a password here is no password just just click and auto login and save when you click on this the first thing you should, this is the interface of the software the first thing you should do you should try to find a device manager option here is my device manager option so just go to this this one and here you find the devices and search option just click on this if you if your laptop and or your pc and your device is connected to the same network it will automatically fetch the data so in my case i don't have a same on same network so it won't fetch so just click on add here you find option manually add then click on the manually add option here you find a device name here you, you can put anything in my case i use device test device after that it is for cloud id or ip domain here in my case i want to connect from a remote location so i use cloud id when I use cloud ID, it asks for me to put my cloud ID. So here I put my cloud ID. Now it asks for you, you password. So please note that this is the password and username. Both are the username and password of the device. Means whatever the device you are adding, DVR and your IP can. So here I enter my device password and click on OK. After that, go to the control panel and click on the main view and just double click here you find the, your camera. So thanks for watching, please like share subscribe, thank you have a nice day.